everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so glad you found me. I have a Dollar Tree Christmas DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make these adorable Santa's mittens. These are perfect. You can hang them on your door or on a wall. They're absolutely adorable and easy to customize for any home decor. Let me show you how to make them. To get started, you're going to need two of the red oven mitts that you can get from Dollar Tree. These are really well made. I have to say I was very impressed. The stitching is done really nice. They're nice and thick. Really nice. So go ahead and remove any tags. You will need two of them. You'll also need two of these microfiber dusters that you can get over in the cleaning department. Go ahead and remove all of your tags. Next, you're gonna wanna cut your microfiber cloth here in half. Now there's a really easy way to do that. If you go ahead and go down the center here and separate the little fluffies, you can see that there's an area where there's no fluff. That's where you want to cut it. Now you will cut through some right here on either end, but you just want to do your best to cut up right in the center there. And then just move everything over and trim up the center till you get it cut in half. You'll lose a little bit of fuzz on the ends there that you cut through, but that's okay. Just remove anything that's loose. Now you're going to want to leave this little hook on the side here that they use to hang it. You will be using that, so do not cut it off and make sure that it's up when you glue on your fuzzies. Okay, so now we're going to start to glue this across the top. And just work your way around it doesn't quite meet so you'll need to cut another piece and just simply hot glue that now I'm putting my cut side down so you just want to slowly hot gluing it around the top here I have it glued down on that side. Now I'm going to work on this side and just wrap it around. Okay, then I'm just going to measure another piece. And then glue that in right there. And there you go. Doesn't that look cute? Now I am going to run a little bit of glue right here and then squeeze that together so it comes together. And then I am going to just kind of pull and try to remove anything else that's loose and trim anything that looks like it needs to be trimmed. Okay, so you want to do this to both of your mittens. I got the trim on. I'm really happy with that. I think they look absolutely adorable already. And as you can see, I did leave out the little hook there. Now I have this in my stash. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. It is red, green, and gold cord. Uh, you can use any small ribbon or cord that you have. It doesn't have to be this. But what we're going to do is tie it here in the loop. You want to go ahead and take one end 
pin in there. <laughs> and tie it on. This is what we're going to use to hang them. So go ahead and give it a double knot and then I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of hot glue to make sure that it stays together. Then you just need to decide how long you need it and how you want your mittens to hang. So I want mine to hang with one a little lower than the other like that. So I'm going to measure up and then down. And then what I'll do is here at the top, once I have it the way I like it, I'll tie a knot so I can hang it from here. And then that way they'll hang at that length the way I want them permanently. Okay, once you have the length and you've decided that that's what you want, Trim it and tie on the other end. Okay, I got my cord on. I'm really happy. Now I did trim the ends and then hot glue them down. Because this is a twisted cord, the ends were unraveling, so that's why I had to glue them down. But it's nice and secure. I'm not going to tie the top until I'm done filling them. So you can go ahead and set these aside. To fill them, I pulled out several different florals. Now for each mitten, I have a one stem of this poinsettia, red and white, one stem of the red velvet poinsettia, and then I have two of these uh, frosted greenery with red berries. And then I have this one, which is red. It is Queen Anne's Lace. And then this one, which is frosted greenery. And then this one is a flocked fern. Now I don't know if I'm going to be using all of these, but this is what I pulled out and I pulled out this much per mitten. Go ahead and remove all of your tags and then we'll start to put our bouquets together. Now to prep your florals, on the greenery here, you're going to want to spread them open just like that. And then on your florals, you want to go ahead and spread them open, push up the leaves, and then you want to take the heads and you want to bend them so that they're facing forward rather than straight up. Just like that. And then to start, we're going to start with one of the glittered greenery with the red berries and then I'm going to take the red poinsettias and I'm going to layer them and I'm going to put the poinsettias just slightly higher than the greenery and on the greenery just spread them out. Okay, so you have your greenery, your red poinsettias, and then you're going to add the other greenery with the berries in the back. And you want that a little bit higher. And then add the other poinsettias, and you want those slightly higher. And you get them all together in your hand, once you have all the height correct. And then just wrap it with some floral tape. You can pick this up at Dollar Tree over in the floral department. For the most part, this does stick to itself. So just as you're wrapping it, you need to wrap over itself a couple times. This is just to secure your bouquet together. It'll make it much easier to work with. Just go down a little ways till it's nice and secure. You don't have to go all the way to the end. Come back up a little bit. I have a couple inches wrapped there. And then I like to secure the end here with just a little bit of hot glue. 
make sure it doesn't come unraveled on me. Now that you have the main portion of your bouquet together, now you just want to play with the greenery and everything and pull it out, mix them up, and place them kind of where you want them. Now, I'm going to take one of these off from the back. I'm going to move this to the front and then just stick it down inside the bundle. You don't have to glue it or anything. That way you can bring one in the front. And then just play with them and adjust your florals. Just keep playing with it until you like it. You want everything kind of facing the front. These three that I did not uh, originally incorporate into the original bouquet, I am going to cut pieces off and feed them in once I get it into the mitten. Once your bundle is the way you want it, go ahead and just slide it down inside your mitten. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a few pieces of each of these and feed in and fill in each of my mittens. And there you go. I got everything filled in. Now I ended up only using one stem of this greenery and one stem of the Queen Anne's lace. I also did not use any of the flocked fern, but I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Now here on the back to get them to hang correctly, I had to glue the string or the cord here onto some of the florals in the back so it would go straight up. And I did that on both of them. Once I figured out how I wanted them to hang, which is just about like that. Now I'm really happy with how they are now, but I felt it needed one more little thing to finish it off. So I thought this little ornament would be perfect. It says happy holidays. And I really love the white background with the red. I think that's going to stand out and I'm going to put it right here. And there you go, we are all done. I think that is the perfect final touch to finish off Santa's mittens. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show me some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. It lets YouTube know that I have content that's worth watching and then they show it to more people and my channel grows. Thanks again for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone is staying happy, healthy, and strong. You have a great day and I'll see you next time.